hi guys i'm jasmine lee welcome back to my channel if you're already subscribed and if you're new go ahead and just check out this video hear what i have to say and if you catch the vibe please subscribe so today's video is just going to be how to Id about sorry how to identify a scam in the modeling field and possibly how to avoid them and just some general safety tips to keep in mind as you're starting your journey so first we're going to talk about um how to spot a scammer now what inspired me to make this video is a recent text i got from genesis level so basically there was someone random pretending to be um some type of affiliate with the owner of the agency and this is something that's dangerous because it can possibly get a girl's hopes up and lure her away from you know people just so that she can meet up with whoever this stranger is um, it makes the company look bad if there's an encounter that's like less than ideal that's had with this person. Um, should they get that far to meeting up? Um, it just all it just all is so wrong and so bad. So here are some quick tips on how to identify a scam. So first up, they're gonna probably offer you a huge job or promise you money without ever having met you. Now, the issue with this is they know that you're thirsty for your dream and you're thirsty for money, most likely. No one's really getting into this for free. So there's that. Um, and also with the promise of a job, even with like, especially with sign models, no job is really guaranteed. Like they can replace you whenever they feel like so. That's another thing that should just spark a red flag within you. Next, they're going to ask you for personal banking information. And that's just whack. Um, there's, there's just, that's just a no-no. Like, unless you guys have, like, things that are documented, paper trails, um, I would never send anything like that via email or, like, text message anyway. That's just, like, that's just me. Um, again, I'm going to have to touch base with like models who are signed because that's something that's intel and insight that I don't have from the like hands on perspective. Now freelancing, I got you all day, but that's something that I'm going to find out for you guys um, once I get hold of some signed models to interview or talk to about this. Also, one thing to look out for is their email does not have the company's name in their domain so whatever it is brian blah 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 at blank dot com that at dot com part needs to have a company's name in it now there are ways around this so because of that as well because anybody now can kind of like finesse and make like they can there's just so much like they can host they can ghost host and they can do all the slick stuff to make their email look legitimate so if you're worried about that or you're just not sure, it's better to be safe than sorry. Go ahead and contact the agency or whatever company they're claiming to be from. Just reach out through customer service and let them know you're trying to vet a person who claims to be working for them. Most companies have no problem doing that for you and it can let you know, yes, this is safe, move forward, or no, they're not affiliated cut it and that's when you just cut all contact block if you need to and again make sure you do not share any personal information with strangers people like it's just no reason for that so they're gonna make it feel like the offer that they're making you is time sensitive so they might give you a deadline to do it by they may might make it seem like oh it's just like everyone's doing it um you have to hurry before all our spots are filled and all this other filled i don't know why i said feel like that <laughs> but you have to do it before all your spots are filled like all that nonsense so don't ever think like the agencies that i found that aren't like scamming um or aren't like i can't say they're not scamming but like yeah they're just legitimate companies they're not going to rush you they're just because they know their money's gonna come regardless of whether you want to sign with them or not so that all plays into how to identify a scam now again these are not the only tips that, that are out there but you can always do your research just hop on google like we're in a in an era where you have so much knowledge at your fingertips so i would just recommend doing as much research on that as possible so that you kind of are just going into this really really sharp so now we're going to get into the safety tips that i have so first i want to ask for references and check credentials now me starting out um i didn't ask for references but i definitely would check their credentials and like kind of like really 
go down the maze of like who they tag in their photos and like see if these people are people i know or see if these are legitimate people like you know there was just a lot of research i would do so i didn't really ask for references although i do now some depending on what the shoot is involving um but yeah definitely ask for references definitely check credentials don't be afraid to again to reach out to a company if this person is claiming to be from a really reputable company don't just get excited off of a name actually check that person like vet them reach out to the company directly say hey i just want to know if so and so from blank 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 dot com is really with you like he says he, he or she is if you're underage make sure you have a friend or guardian who can either accompany you or knows where you're going to be like they need to have an actual address or if the person is picking you up they need to have the name and number of that person they might need to have a license plate i don't know but my mother personally like she would ask for all that stuff <laughs> um she would actually come out the house if she could and take pictures of license plates so my mama didn't play um make sure they're at least aware of your movements though so even like if i'm shooting or meeting with someone i'll make sure my boyfriend's aware um at the time when i was modeling heavier i did make sure like my friends you know were with me or you know just knew about it at, at the least i would say don't go alone if you can help it now nowadays a lot of photographers and just like magazines or whomever don't want a million people at a shoot so you want to be polite and ask if you can bring someone and again i stress i cannot stress this enough be polite and ask first if you can bring somebody now you also need to listen to your spirit listen to your guts and your instincts because if you have a bad feeling about someone and they say oh no you can't bring anybody and it's a way they can communicate that without being rude um go ahead and ask them or go ahead and ask them first and if they communicate that they don't really want anyone and you know they don't always have to tell you why but normally um just to throw this out there if photographers don't want you to have an entourage with you or have anyone with you it's not always something negative really they're just trying to protect their work and their space not may not be big enough um they may not want people who don't know the etiquette to be interfering so there's just a lot that goes into that to think about before you bring someone to a shoot also if you cannot bring anyone at least have someone like who can drop you off and pick you up that way there's someone who's accountable like mm, i don't know like it kind of depends i'm kind of talking to aspiring models because y'all are the babies who may not drive who may not you know know how to go around by yourself with this yet so y'all are the ones that are my focus um so yeah have a parent drop you off have them walk you to the door so that they can like physically look at the person scope the space and then they can leave there's no problem with that i think my mother did that at my second shoot so the first one she stayed because he allowed it the second one um and actually the second time i was with the same photographer the second time there was trust built so she kind of like stayed for a moment and shoots are really not that exciting so i don't even know why people want to go anyway but they you know she came she saw what was going on and she left um i never felt uncomfortable so she didn't feel a reason to have to like babysit the entire time um but yeah definitely at least have the person meet the photographer or whoever you're working with so that they know someone's going to be looking for you if anything happens you know like i think sometimes people violate because they feel like no one is looking out for a person so just keep that in mind um that's all i have for right now of course if you guys have any questions or tips to add go ahead and um hit me up in the comments or leave your tips in the comments um thank you so much for watching my channel for subscribing and the constant support and love i appreciate you guys and i hope you have a great day or night wherever you are